Hey everybody, it's Mondays with Martha. It's actually a Monday, so I'm doing good this week. Um, just wanted to share with you, there was an article in the paper um, this morning, and it's U.S., oh, if you can see this, U.S. Um, Population Center trending towards south this decade, which would be the first time in history that it has ever done that. Um, it was kind of interesting, and I, some of this I'm going to have to read to you because it's just too, too many stats, but the Northeast and Midwest lost residents, and the West grew by just a small 153,000 and people, um, primarily because the large number of residents that left that for a different U.S. region, uh, the West would have lost population if it wasn't for immigration and births outpacing deaths. So that was kind of interesting. Um, in the in the contrast, the South grew by 1.3 million new residents, um, and six of the of the states that they were going to, the first four being Texas, Florida, North Carolina, and Georgia, with South Carolina right behind. If anybody has been down here and seen some of our um, uh, developments that are just popping up everywhere. Um, they're, they're coming fast and furious, to say the least. Um, the question is whether or not this dramatic pull to the South is short-term or is it long-term? It was created by the pandemic and people being able to work from home, um, all of those uh, things. Or is it just more of a longer, longer term trend? One of the, the, um, aspects of it was the housing affordability, lower, lower taxes, remote work, and baby boomers retiring. We all know kind of about those baby boomers, you know. I happen to be one of them, so there you go. Um, and then the other thing, yeah, they said that 233,000 people left a Western state and planted roots in a different region from mid-2021 to mid-2022. Um, and this guy uh, happened to join the ranks of almost 868,000 people who moved to a southern state from another region. I thought that was just, I was like, wow, do we get that many? I guess we did. Um, and the population center was first calculated to be in Chestertown, Maryland uh, in 1790. And it's moved continuously westward, though it started has started to make a southwestern tilt in the 20th century when air conditioning made it much more palatable to live in the South when it gets so hot. Um, the only thing that uh, that they had mentioned the South has been above and beyond trends uh, the region experienced before the pandemic. It was always there was always more. So anyway, I thought that was that would be interesting. Anybody who might be coming here for um, Valentine's Day, we do have a couple of things that are happening on Valentine's Day. Um, people can renew their wedding vows uh, at Brook Green Gardens, believe it or not. They have um, a non-denominational non um, ceremony there if you want to renew your, your wedding vows. And the Barefoot Queen, which is a riverboat cruise, they're going to have a riverboat cruise uh, from February 10th to the 14th at 6 p.m. Cost is $71.99 per person, but they say it's a candlelight dinner on the, on the intercoastal. So there you go. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a great Monday. If there's anything Anybody, uh, any of your friends and family that I can help, uh, please feel free to give me a call. Anyway, I hope everybody has, has a great week. Stay safe and enjoy.